Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we are back on the website of Gardner Hallgate Auctioneers based in the UK. We're going to have a look at their second uh, guitar auction. You may have seen uh, the previous video where we covered the first day of the auction. Uh, this is the uh, second day, so this is the auction which is finishing on the 16th of June. The other one was the 15th of June, which was mainly all guitars. Uh, this particular one I think is some guitars, then mainly amps and pedals and things like that. There's even more lots in this auction, so it's 570 lots, so it's quite quite a lot of lots. Um, buyers premium is 26.4%. Like I said, this is a UK auction, so if you are based um, outside of the UK, then bear in mind import, export charges, that kind of stuff, and CITES requirements, and general shipping costs for everyone. Uh, so check it out. Um, so as there's so many lots in this auction, um, I think what we might do, and as I've done in previous auction, is when we get to the pedals, I may probably just kind of skim over most of that quite quickly, but just give you an idea of uh, what's going on. And obviously there'll be a link in the description. Um, I am interested in pedals, but there's just so many things that really it kind of it gets a bit difficult. So we'll try and uh, stick to kind of guitars and amps probably on this and just skim over the rest, unless there's something really, really interesting. And then we'll kind of have a look at that. Otherwise the uh, video, which would would go on even longer than they normally do um so yeah uh that's enough ramblings let's just uh, crack on and see what we have so far we have a uh, mike pender of the searches searches owned and played 2000 uh celebrity by ovation cc165 electro acoustic 12 string 100 to 200 pounds is the estimate so we're on looks like this is famous uh people's guitars Mike Pender again the searches owned and used 1980s uh, is that a Sigma guitars for CF Martin DFC to EN electro acoustic there 150 to 250 pounds there Mike Pender the searches owned and used 1981 aria pro 2 per80 electric guitar made in Japan 500 to a thousand is the estimate there these are actually pretty nice uh, nice looking guitars to be fair it's got an interesting uh, shaping, so that's pretty good. And then moving on, we have Mike Pender, The Searchers, 1990s Aria Pro 2 Aquanote 12 string electric guitar, 200 to 400 is the estimate. Another Mike Pender, uh, own and used 2004 Yamaha Pacifica PAC 303. 12 string electric guitar 100 to 200 pounds there another mike pender own and used 1963 fender strat uh, made in the usa 10,000 to 15,000 there so that's fairly substantial looks like it's uh, had a lot of wear let's see what they say here it's got a society certificate uh stripped to natural and lacquered so that's gonna affect the value and also who's kind of interested in it quite a bit another mike pender owned and used 1968 rickenbacker 456 12 convertible 6 or 12 string guitar 5000 to 8000 here very good uh, david rotheray from the beautiful south owned and used airline resaglass three quarter electric guitar made in the USA six to a thousand pounds there. that's quite a cool looking thing another David uh, Rotheray uh, own and used Supro Sahara electric guitar that's five to eight hundred David Roth uh, Rotheray own and used uh, Supra supersonic 30 electric guitar four to six hundred uh, David Rothray uh, owned and used 1993 Fender Stratocaster 12 string 600 to 1000 uh, another David Rothray owned and used Fender Jagstang electric guitar 6 to 800 pounds another David Rothray owned and used 2005 Line 6 Variac 600 electric guitar 150 to 250 David Rotheray owned and used 2012 Gretsch Electromagic G5260T Baritone Electric 
two to four hundred. And David Rutheray owned and used um, 1999 Epiphone Viola bass guitar, 120 to 180. David Rutheray owned and uh, played Hofner 19146 double neck electric guitar made in Germany circa 1962. That's pretty cool. I don't recall uh, having seen one of these before. This is pretty interesting. 1000 to 1500 there is the estimate. That's definitely quite uh, quite a curious looking one. So that's an interesting one to see. David Rothray, Beautiful South, uh, owned and used 1990s Applause by Ovation AE133 Electroacoustic, 80 to 120 pounds. So David Rothray owned and used 2004 Avante AV2E NA Baritone Electro Electroacoustic Guitar, 2 to 400 pounds. Interesting shape there. David Rothray owned and used Norman B20 12 string acoustic guitar, 100 to 200 pounds. Uh, David Rothray again owned and used CF Martin Backpacker guitar made in Mexico, 80 to 120 pounds. David Rothray again owned and used uh, 1994 uh, Takamine EN 10C acoustic guitar made in Japan. So it looks like it's. Uh, looks like he used it as his main songwriting guitar with the beautiful south and later solo projects at uh, the top of the guitar has it signed by slash of guns and roses yeah, interesting 2001 when they met at jules holland's hooten only 1000 to 2000 so there you go it has beautiful south and slash kind of uh, provenance to it david rothray uh asian i was supposed to say asian artisan sorry a lap guitar um 60 to 100 pounds there is the estimate David Rothray uh, early 20th century Johnny Dallas pear shaped mandolin 50 to 100 pounds David Rothray again owned and used 2003 Fender 5 string resonator banjo 100 to 200 pounds there ah David Rothray the beautiful south owned and used 1994 Fender Blues Deville PR247 4x10 guitar amp Made in the USA, three to five hundred pounds. Uh, David Rothray again is owned and used Digitech RP2000 multi effects pedal, thirty to sixty pounds. Uh, Rothray again his VG8 guitar system, hundred to two hundred pounds. Uh, Rothray again a Suzuki Q chord, a digital song card guitar, hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty pounds. Rothray again is 1950s Kursler Harmophone portable suitcase keyboard, 100 to 200 pounds. Uh, Mike Ronson and Ian Hunter autograph 1950s ES225T hollow body electric guitar, quite a nice looking instrument there, 3,000 to 5,000. Signed by Mick uh, Ronson and Ian Hunter, Hunter even. Um, Site certificate there. Guitar refinished in white. Interesting. John Giblin, various artists, 1970s Gibson EBO to EB3 conversion bass guitar. Previously owned by John Giblin, session bass is well known for his work with Simple Minds and others, including Peter Gabriel, John Martin, Elke Brooks, Annie Lex, Phil Collins. Okay, 800 to 1200 pounds is the uh, estimate on that. Jack Bruce owned and used 1990 Warwick Jack Bruce signature. Uh, thumb bass fretless guitar four to six thousand pounds there bass number two from a limited run of 90 produced uh, one of the first collaborations between jack bruce and warwick so there you go it was sold in sotheby's so it's been sold again mike oldfield owned a new Roland g88 bass guitar bass guitar controller two and a half to five thousand pounds you see some more kind of information down there John Entwistle owned and used 1974 Guild Starfire 2 SFB2 hollow body base three and a half to five thousand five hundred it's got a few kind of additional information on that BG's Morris Gibb owned stage played and autographed early 1970s Gibson J45 
used to compose it single jive talking there seven to ten thousand so that's fairly uh, substantial one by charlie faulkner in the bbc radio one competition on the Bru uh, bruno brooks rock shop january 1987 interesting that's uh, pretty bizarre Cat Stevens, Yusuf Islam, owned and used 1975 custom ovation legend 16191 one electric acoustic guitar, 8 to 12,000. Given to Cat Stevens' nephew Robert Gordon following the 1976 Magic Cat tour and sold to the vendor in July 2003 when Robert was 11 years old. There you go. Curious, so there you go. Some fairly high end. Uh, Celebrity things here. Matt Owens from Nowhere in the Well, owned and used 1970s Gibson EB3 bass guitar. 1000 to £2,000. Pounds. Matt Owens, uh, 1972 CF Martin D1220 acoustic guitar. 1000 to £2,000 pounds is the estimate there. More guitars than I expected. Another Matt Owens Gibson Dove acoustic guitar. 1,000 to 2,000 pounds. Ukraine appeal. Paul uh, Villa Tawitz used Patrick Egel Los Angeles uh, electric guitar. Uh, no estimate on that one. So Patrick Egel guitars have kindly offered this guitar to raise funds to the Ukrainian people with the following message from the company. Uh, Paul Villa Tawitz has paid Patrick Egel guitars, Le LA, Los Angeles guitars, and the legendary Carl Palmer's Emerson Lake and Palmer Legacy Tour since 2015. Paul plays Greg Lake's guitar riffs and Keith Emerson's ELP keyboard solos on the uh, on the guitar. Incredibly, incredible virtuoso playing. Um, so, Paul's grandfather lived in Lviv, now part of Ukraine, and suffering the rages of war with Russia, often seen on UK TV. So, basically, it's uh, Fundraising from uh, Patrick Egel guitars there uh, for the Ukrainian people. So there you go, a worthy, worthy cause. Pete Townsend, uh, Mesa Boogie Star Four Times Ten Guitar Amplifier Cabinet, three to five hundred pounds. Chandler guitars there in queue. Um, to do a purchase by the vendor in 2007 from Chandler's where it was sold as an ex-Pete Townsend amplifier cabinet having having been consigned by Pete Pete's then guitar sec Alan Rogan interesting Chandler's in queue there um, Seth Lakeman owned and used Blackstar amplification HD Studio 20 guitar amplifier 2 to 400 pounds Artists, various artists, GHS Vintage Reissued S58 JD Jerry Donahue Signature Electric Guitar. Autographs including Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, John Paul Jones, Paul McCartney, Mark Knopfler, Tony Iommi, Pete Townsend, David Gilmore, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Albert Lee, Jeff Lynn, Brian Wilson, Al Jardine, Blondie Champlin, Chaplin, uh, Steve Winwood, Dave Pegg, Richard Thompson, Joe Brown, Andy Fairweather Lowe, Martin Barr, Al Stewart, Richard. Jiggins and Ralph McTell guitar auction. It was uh, sold already again in 2019. 15 to 25 thousand here. So, um, so I think this is a kind of uh, special kind of guitar as a kind of tribute uh, thing. So there you go. It's a lot of uh, a lot of signatures there. So. Definitely interesting one there. Uh, country artist autographed Yamaha F310 uh, acoustic guitar. Signed by Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, Chris Christopherson, and Waylon Jennings. Okay, so some country uh, interest there. BB King autographed 1960s Top 20 electric guitar. Interesting. Four to six hundred pounds. Oasis autographed Takamini G Series G230 acoustic guitar. The Shadows autographed 1979 Fender 25th anniversary Strat. Two to three thousand pounds. Pink Floyd interest 2017 Andy Manson Division Bell 
acoustic guitar made in England. A one-off guitar made by Andy Manson, having been inspired by Storm Thorgerson's symmetrical design for Pink Floyd's The Division Bell album. Interesting. It's definitely uh, curious. Three to five thousand pounds there. Saxon autograph encore nylon string guitar. Excellent. 120 to 180 pounds. Well, if you like uh, Saxon. Uh, so now we're on to some pedals here. So uh, Boone Gould level 42 um, pedal here. Let's see if we've got a few more here. Yeah, we're on to that. Uh, the, oh, this is kind of artist stuff, so this is fair enough. Boone Gould of level 42. I've been there two screaming there so a mini one a classic there Fleetwood Mac autographed Remo uh, drum skin there four to six hundred Eagles autographed Remo drum skin there four to six hundred Blondie uh, used an autograph Remo skin two to four hundred Beatles interest uh, commissioned Vox Kensington replica hollow body electric guitar three to five thousand interesting Curious looking one. A Beatles related books, so we can just skip over that. Some of the Sith Beatles whole load of books. Maybe we'll go to look at the whole lots here because there might be some stuff that we can miss over. I think all of this Beatles stuff, as much as it is quite interesting, is probably not worth us looking into detail over but you can see here that if you like the Beatles other music things Rolling Stones so there you go Jim, Jimi Hendrix a uh, pair of uh, leather uh, calf length boots from 1967 three to five thousand you know there's, uh, there's stuff available there for you more other kind of stuff oh we're on to amps now okay we can we can continue our mission here cube uh, rolling cube 80GX guitar amp there, Roland Micro Cube, another Roland Micro Cube, Fender Mustang 2 guitar amp, Galen Kruger, uh, bass, oh, bass amplifier there, that's a good reputation, 1972 Marshall PA20 model 1917 guitar amp head, 1500 to 2500, interesting, pair of Marshall 1970 PA column speakers, trade acoustic guitar preamp, Black Star amplifier HD5 guitar amp, Wem ER40 guitar amp head 40 to 80, they're always quite cool. Celestian speaker, some foot switches, 1960 Selma Futurama Corvette amp, Marshall Valve State VS30R guitar amp, 1960s Ampeg M15 guitar amp, 400 to 600 there, uh, Pig Nose portable battery amp, Palmer Fab 5 guitar amp there, and a Roland Cube ATX. Uh, 1978 Marshall DMP model 2203 master model 700 to 1000 Aguilar bass guitar amplifier there Trace Elliott uh, bass guitar head Panama guitar amplifier 1990s Fender Blues Deville guitar amp uh, Vox Pathfinder guitar amplifier um, and some other uh, Head there with the Carlsberg Marlin X150 power module. Interesting. Some uh, looks like tubes there. Yep. THD hot plate uh, power attenuator. Randall RM80 modular guitar amplifier. Trade uh, Trace uh, acoustics TA50R acoustic amp. Um, Roland Cube 30 guitar amp. Carvin Vintage Tube 33 guitar amp. 150 to 200. But that's actually probably quite a decent uh, amp, so that could be quite a good, good deal. Fender Custom Vibrolux Reverb Amp, HH Electronics VS Musician Guitar Amp, late 1970s Vox 125 Guitar Lead Amplifier, 1960s Sears Silvertone 1481 Guitar Amp, Columbus 50 Guitar Amplifier and a Yamaha kind of speaker there, Session PM120 Guitar Monitor System, with its stand, PV TNT 150 bass guitar amp, a pig nose portable guitar amplifiers, and a PV amp. 
1995 Fender Pro Junior guitar amp, some Celestine speakers, Dr. Z, Maz 18 Junior NR guitar amplifier there, um, DV Mark DV, uh, Raw, Raw Dog EG guitar amplifier, Marshall 1959 Super Lead 100 Watt Plexi 3.5 to 4000, that's pretty, pretty nice. Nineteen eighty one Fender Champ guitar amp there, high watt SA two one two fifty watt uh, combo amplifier there. This is pretty cool. Uh Gibson Super Gold Tone GA thirty RVH thirty watt guitar amplifier head made in England by Trace Elliott. Oh interesting. I've not seen that before, so that's uh that's a curious one. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Very interesting. I have not heard about those before, so I should look that up um that's an interesting fender supersonic 22 guitar amp early 1990s mesa boogie uh guitar amp polytone mega brute guitar amp sjb audio and guitar amplifier music man 210 rp guitar amp roland cube 60 guitar amplifier black star fly 3 mini watt sheldon true tone 1x12 guitar amplifier 2010 marshall acoustic soloist uh guitar amp Fender Frontman 212R guitar amp, Yamaha THR10 guitar amp, Hartker Transient Attack bass guitar amp, Roland Microcube and a load of other random small amps, Classic 1986 Roland Jazz Chorus, JC77, uh, Fame Joyo uh, JTA05 5 watt guitar amp, uh, 1996 Marshall JTM30 guitar amp, Line 6 Spider Jam guitar amp, Cornford 4x12 4 ohm guitar amplifier cab, Zilla Custom H ohm 1x12 guitar cabinet, 1960s Dallas Arbiter High 5 MCV uh, 5G guitar amp, Hughes and Kettner 4x12, Hughes and Kettner Statement uh, amplifier, ooh, 1970s Matt amp. Um, Three to four thousand is the estimate there. Good old kind of uh, good old orange one made by the Matam factory and nineteen seventies uh, orange OR two hundred PA amplifier made in England fifteen hundred to two thousand. Vox AC fifty guitar amplifier head, Boss MG eighty guitar amplifier using a switchblade there. Roland AC60 acoustic chorus guitar amp PVXP series Mark III uh, bass guitar amp Roland Bolt 60 guitar amp and a few other kind of small ones Nux Mighty 8 BT portable guitar amp Laney Mini Supergroup guitar amplifier there and we carry on 1991 Fender Champ 12 guitar amplifier 1990s Fender Acoustic Sonic Junior amp uh, there's a Vox ampl amplification dealer sign that's interesting. Electro Voice EVM uh, model 12 guitar uh, speaker. Riff uh, RGA 10 battery guitar amplifier and another one there. Laney A Fresco portable acoustic guitar amp. Trace Elliott acoustic guitar amp. PB TKO 65 bass guitar amp. Crate Vintage Club 50 guitar amplifier. Fishman Loudbox Artist acoustic guitar amp. Mesa Boogie Fillmore 50 guitar amp. Uh, Rift Amps PB6 guitar amplifier, AER Compact 60 Mark II acoustic guitar amp, Black Star Amplification HD5 guitar amp, uh, Hampstead Artist 20 RT guitar amplifier, 800 to 1200, Morgan PR12 1x12 guitar amplifier combo, a Heart Systems Transient Attack kickback uh, kind of amp monitor thing, uh, a Victory Amp 16 ohm uh, guitar amplifier speaker uh, palmer triage amp selector guitar pedal 1993 fender stage 112 se guitar amplifier roland cube 80x guitar amplifier ashdown engineering acoustic 100 guitar amp roland cube 100 bass guitar amp and we're on to a whole load of pedals now so love tone flange there and a dallas fuzz face some boss pedals there classic ebo uh, Ibanez TS uh, 9 tube screamer there, another classic pedal, 80 to 120, Boss Digital Delay, very cool, uh, Boss Reverb, loaded bits, uh, 
Overdrive and Distortion by Boss, Hyper Metal, Compression, Chorus, Flanger, all the classics. Oh, Loop Station, Digital Delay there, uh, Chorus, C2, Harmonist Tremolo, uh, some more kind of the mini Ibanez ones, Electro Harmonics, Electric Mistress there, some Boss pedals, more effects pedals, more Loop Station, Super Overdrive. Um, there's a solar sound uh, wah there, zoom pedals, some kind of older Ibanez pedals, more boss kind of loop stations here, RC30, yep, whole load of uh, interesting kind of vintage pedals, now some Digitech stuff, Behringer pedals, a few more other kind of compression sustainers, Chorus, T-Rex pedals, quite good. Uh, a few other things, pedal cases. As you can see with Chromatic Tuner, Classic TU3. whole load of these big kind of Line 6 Roland pedal kind of boards. Uh, Arian Tuner there, Classic. Uh, or Orion, if that's what they call it. Uh, Thorpey FX, that's a good kind of English hand-built kind of pedal maker there. Interesting stuff, Keeley Electronics as well. Some interesting stuff, MXR Overdrive. It's good. Line 6 Pod. Classic RC20XL loop uh, pedal there. The Equalizer Chorus. Line 6 Digital Delay. Um, let's see. Some more Line 6 pods, very bass pod there, Memory Man there, Electro Harmonics, that's quite good. A few other MXR pedals here, some interesting ones here, more Electro Harmonics. Good range of different pedals, more Boss Loop stations here. T-Rex pedals again, that was nice. A good, good range of different pedals. And carrying on, another MXR. Or oh, these more electro harmonics. Kind of orange pedal there as well. Good a little micro pog, always cool. More MXR pedals, and these little micro pedals which are popular now. Or were popular. Distortion pedal there, classic boss distortion. Flanger, good old vintage flanger there by Ibanez. Yeah, whole load of cool stuff. Some more micro uh, pedals, another vintage chorus. Uh, I'm just going over these really briefly because it's a bit much to kind of keep going over every pedal, but uh, have a look at them in your own time. Uh, early 1960s Vox volume expression pedal there, that's quite cool. Classic digital delay DD2, that's a, an interesting one. Line selector, line six crunch chain guitar pedal. I had one of those, it was quite expensive at the time. Absolutely dreadful pedal, I think it cost like 100 quid or 150, something like that. And it just sounded absolutely terrible. The idea was good and they're super like cool, like robust kind of things, but it sounded absolutely terrible, I think, in hindsight anyway whole load of cases and stuff, always interesting. Loads of stands and accessories. More accessories and bits, just gives you an idea. Oh, we're into some guitar parts now, so that's good. Westfield LP type electric guitar there. Unfinished tele um, Stratocaster type guitar there. Bits of guitar bodies there, some more guitar body parts. Some tuners, some more pickups and things like that. More bits of acoustics, some guitar necks, some other bits. What's that? Uh, 1975 Gibson guitar dealer countertop uh, kind of booklet or something, is it? Rip sales ring binder, interesting. Uh, more bits and pieces of guitars, and some more bits, some more books, some out guitars, some more necks. Dean Markley Strings Dealer Sign, Fender Highway 1 Guitar Body, there. 
and uh, yeah I think that's the end of it so we've just kind of like sped through that really just because there's a lot of pedals and things that we don't need to go into kind of individually um, but yeah there you have it that's kind of the second part of the main guitars auction so it seems to be kind of guitars mainly by famous people a few amps and then a whole load of pedals um, interesting enough if you're really into guitars then it's definitely something for you if you're not so interested in guitars then this is probably not the auction for you at all uh, so um, I'll put a link in the description check it out if you're interested um, thanks a lot for watching uh, and I'll catch you uh, next time ciao many thanks for tuning in to the musical instrument investigator I hope that you enjoyed the video if you did then please like uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon